Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Midas short video series. In this video, I'll be explaining the importance of plate modeling and the need for domains and subdomains. So for the demonstration purpose, I have considered two different systems in which in each of them I have provided three beams each having a span of 8 meter span in the x direction simply supported at both ends. On the first model, I have assigned plate elements on resting on top of the beams which is having unit width and now on the other one I have provided a single line element which is having the same depth as that of the plate element but having a effective width of 8 meters apart from that I have applied a uniform pressure load of 5 kilograms per meter square on the plate elements and a UDL of equivalent load of 40 kN per meter on the beam elements. Now most of the engineers feel that what is the need for plate modeling if we are having a single beam element having an equivalent width as shown here. Now let's check, let's run the model and check the results. Let's check the results for beam first. Here we can see that the variation in bending moment in the longitudinal direction can be seen but at the same time in the transverse direction we can see that the bending moment remains constant which is not correct. Now let's check the results for plate. Here we can see that the variation of bending moment is experienced in both longitudinal as well as in transverse direction because plate elements are capable of accounting for in-plane tension or compression, in-plane or out-of-plane shear and out-of-plane bending behaviors. So we can say that plate modeling is much more accurate when compared to beam modeling. But still, it also depends on the space and also the discretion of the engineer. One must have a clear idea about the results they want from the model. For example, while modeling a bridge, a line element works fine rather than plate elements. Its bending moment and uh, shear are the governing results. Likewise, for plate elements are used to get the in-plane stiffness instead of beam ele elements with large wheels while modeling the decks. So it is always up to the engineer. And of course, we get a much more accurate results when we are going for a plane model. So now let's discuss the importance of domains and subdomains in general. For that, so here if I am considering the entire plate elements as a single domain, we cannot design it as a single domain because we can. There are regions where at these regions we are having sagging moments, and at these regions we are having the hogging moments because of the internal support. Thus, the demand and the requirement of reinforcements will vary at this point and also from this point. For this purpose, Midas system enables its users to divide the domains into certain subdomains and design each subdomain separately. Now let's check if it can be done. For this, I am activating only the plate elements. For assigning the domains, go to node or element tab. Here we are having defined domains. So I am going to assign the entire plate element into a single domain. So, so here we can choose the element type. So I have defined everything as a plate elements. Or we are having other 2D elements too, like plane stress, plane stay, and axis symmetry. So here I am choosing plate and I'm going to the list of elements. I'm selecting everything. Got add. Now let's define the subdomains. So in this case, I'm going to define three subdomains. One is one subdomain will be this one because we are we are having sagging moment. 
and here I will consider just one mole and for the hogging parts I will consider it as a third subdomain for the subdomain 1 I am naming it as sub 1 okay so here we can choose the type of design we have we need to carry out so member type we are having plate beam so when plate beam is selected we consider slab design like a one-way beam so plate column is selected to consider abutments or shear bones like columns considering axial force and moment or else we can consider them as shell elements so here i am considering it as plate beam now now the engineers for each subdomain we can specify the direction of rebus so first one i am considering it as local so in local the reinforcements will be aligned in the elemental local axis of the place select the elements and so likewise i am going to name the second one domain 2 here again the member type i am selecting as plate beam if you want to we can go for another one also and i am choosing ucs so what is ucs if i want to align the uh, reinforcement in the user coordinate system we can choose ucs if the user coordinate systems are not assigned then the elements will be automatically assigned in the global x and y directions elements now having sub 3 so if if i want to align my reinforcements in an inclined direction okay so for that purpose i will first select the elements so if i want to align my reinforcements in a inclined fashion i can just assign click on the first node and the second node so the elements will be aligned in a inclined fashion got add sorry add so we have assigned all the domains and subdomains to those activated. Now to see the direction of the reinforcements and the subdomains, go to the display and here click on the element tab. We are having subdomain rebar direction. So here we can see that this one we are having the elemental coordinate axis and here we are having the uh, elemental coordinate axis and the global xy direction and here we are having the inclined reinforcements so i hope this is clear now let's go to the design and here select the dis de uh, required design code i am selecting astro and rfp 70 and i have already given all these values and these things are all explained very clearly in the previous short videos you can always refer them click on the control code first we have to run the model build the design we missed out one step here so now let's go to plate beam data for design so here we have to give different directions for our main reinforcements so subdomain one the direction one and direction two are specified so here we can see that this is the direction one and this is the direction two or in this case subdomain one so this is the direction one and this is the direction two so i want my reinforcements to be aligned in direction one main reinforcements so i am just given it as direction one i am giving a 200 stirrups size uh, this is the cover that we have to provide i am providing 20 mm cover on top and bottom click on 
add so likewise for subdomain 2 okay in subdomain 2 we can see that this is the second direction and this is the first direction so if i want to assign uh, my reinforcements in in this direction okay in this direction i can just click on direction 1 click on add likewise subdomain 3 if i want to align my reinforcement in in this fashion main reinforcements so i'll be selecting direction 2 and click on add okay now we are clear to go this set design concrete design plate beam design so we can see that the plate beam design has been done separately for each subdomain so here the required AST and the demand as well as the capacity and this ratio shear everything can be is calculated so I hope this video was useful Stay tuned for much more interesting videos. Thank you.